want you guys to understand what it's like to be in body game and understand what it's like to have certain privileges or understand what it's like to be chosen just based off having a, a nice physique, you know what I'm saying, a nice body. All right, guys, I am back at it with another YouTube video. Josh back at it again with a body game video. And this is for my beginners. You know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of guys have been watching like body game videos, getting to body game videos, looking at gyms, looking at memberships. I think Lifetime Fitness. I might be looking into Lifetime Fitness. I don't know exactly. But I know a lot of guys have been getting into it and like trying to get more involved into body game. So I was thinking like, you know, for beginners, how do you get started into it? You know what I'm saying? That was questions that I felt like I had when I was younger was like, how do I get started into it? How to get to in the gym, at home workouts versus, versus gym workouts, investing into it, how to actually work on your body, just pretty much just getting started with body game. So that's why I was like, let me make this video because a lot of guys may not be in body game, but they're looking to get into it. So basically what I want to tell you guys for how body game, body game is amazing. First off, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations for you being interested in body game, looking to get into the gym. You know what I'm saying? You looking to get into, you know, fitness and looking to get into like changing your body and everything like that, because it is manifestation and everything like that. So no matter where you are, you know what I'm saying? No matter what progress you are well, no matter if you play sports or not whether if you're like older i do recommend you to be like 18 but you could always like kind of start off with running but like in the gym just so you know you don't stunt your growth and everything like that uh physically just kind of make sure you're like 18 18 is a really good age uh you can be younger but just kind of get into sports more so than like super duper working out i mean you can to each his own but it's just i just recommend 18 is a really really good age because i don't want you guys to get involved in a lot of like Stereoroid use and like it's a lot of downsides of um you know the fitness community that you know is not really that talked about but we're talking about for how to get started into body game so i would recommend for my guys i would recommend for you guys to look into a gym first starts off with a gym uh for me i started like at, at home workouts because i was a little bit nervous uh that's a big thing when you are first starting out you don't really know what workouts are right. You don't really know what workouts are wrong. You really don't know what type of workouts to do. So I would say start off with like a smaller gym if you aren't as confident because that is a thing. Like depending on you're starting out with body game is like you may not have the best body already. You know what I'm saying? You may feel like you're overweight and everything like that. But really try to do your workouts alone first time. You know what I'm saying? You don't really have to get a big group. But try to figure out, you know, what you want to look like. You know what I'm saying? What you want to transfer your body to look to be and look like. So I would say, like, you know, practice push-ups, practice sit-ups and everything like that. And just really look around and see, like, what type of body you're going for. You know what I'm saying? What type of physique, what type of aesthetic. Because everybody, everybody and every aesthetic is different. For me, I did, like, more so calisthenics. So I would do, like, body weight exercises, which is what I recommend and calisthenics is the most aesthetic to me i mean the most aesthetic to me and everything like that so i would say like i start off with that when i was first getting into it and getting to the gym and then i worked my way up slowly but surely like i uh, a lot of times your job does offer like health benefits and they also offer like discounts on gyms so i suggest you guys look into that because a lot of times they don't really tell you that but that is a benefit of working with some companies is they have certain discounts and codes that you can use to join in certain gyms so i would say you know what I'm saying work up you know do at home workouts just to practice to see how consistent you are with it you know start with like dieting you just kind of start off small you know what i mean you don't want to you don't want to like overwhelm yourself when, when overwhelming when you're going to start into the gym so start off small if you do have a fitness group it's cool if not it's cool you don't really need it then also just be just to be honest with you, not everybody is always that motivated when they are beginners. So if you do have a group, make sure they're kind of more well seasoned, like uh, preferably somebody who's already in sports, already used to workouts and everything like that. Because if you just work out with like a bunch of people who are new, you all may be doing the wrong thing. Work your way up, start small. And then after you kind of get the hang of it, like after a couple of weeks, you're noticing that you're really enjoying the gym. You're liking it. You're liking the progress. You're liking, you know being consistent you you're like holding yourself accountable that's when i start 
or recommend for you guys to look for a gym, like a home gym, like maybe like a LA fitness, maybe like a goals gym, maybe like a planet fitness and everything like that. Because once you buy the membership, you're pretty much like locked in. I mean, you can cancel it, but just, it just shows like, okay, I'm investing into body game. You know what I'm saying? I'm investing into my workouts. But I always recommend my guys to get into like a bigger gym because the bigger your gym is, the more community you're around. So it's like a lot of times for me, like how I got started is that I would see guys of like all ages. I'll see women of all ages consistently going to the gym, like consistently working out. And it's like it made no excuses for me. Like I when I was at Gold's Gym, I had a Gold's Gym membership. It was like this guy was like in his 50s. No, he had to be in his 60s late 60s he would get up every day he would be there at like 5 30 because i had like late work i had really really late workouts um and he would be there consistently every day you know what i'm saying doing the workouts and it would just show me like no matter if it was like a holiday no matter if it was anything that's going on in his life he was at the gym and i think you guys need to see that so that's why i recommend you guys you know join a bigger gym get into it because you need to be around people who are working out. You know what I'm saying? You need to be around people who you feel like you may be intimidated by or their bodies are better than yours. Or you got to be able to see that because you need to see what's possible because you don't know what that person started as and you don't know where they are now. And you know what I'm saying? Just make conversations with people, like get to know people, see everybody's progress, ask some questions. And then too, this is like a secret. What I did was that I would copy their workouts. So it's like when I first started, because I was new, I didn't really know how to use the equipment, right? So I was like, I would either go super early or super late. But before that, I'll go when it was busy. And I'll just look at their workouts. Like, okay, they're doing that. Okay, they're doing this on leg day. They're doing this on chest day. They're doing this. Like, I would just kind of look because I was new. Like, I didn't really know how to use the equipment. I was a little scared, especially with, like, bench pressing. And, like, I just didn't. It was just a lot of weight. I didn't want it to follow me. So I was nervous. I know a lot of guys can't be nervous about that. So, just kind of be mindful of that, but just also be relaxed, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just kind of watch what workouts they're doing. You can look them up too, but like actually seeing them work out and when it's busy, it can be overwhelming. So I was just kind of looking at them and then kind of when they will close, I'll kind of go rush in. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this type workout. Like I'm going to try this. I'm going to see how this works out for me. I'm going to try this, this split, this bro split, see how this works out for me. And this is really trial and error. Like you can kind of see like, how hard you want to go, how hard you want to go into it, the dieting. If you want to go work out more than dieting or diet more than work out, it's you. You figure out how many days you want to go. But really just get started, man. It's really not a judgment zone. Um, never let anybody judge you. That's why I tell you guys to go by yourself um, because sometimes you need to be your own motivation. You know what I'm saying? You need to be your own push. And you need to be able to be independent when it comes to workouts because – you got to be honest, like if you are starting out, you may not have that community and not everybody may want to work out with you. So you can't let somebody's no be your no. You know what I'm saying? You have to be confident. You have to be determined to get the results. And that's with with people or if you're alone. You know what I mean? That's one thing about the workout journey. It's a lot more alone than what you think because, you know, people have lives, people have works, people have families, everything like that. And it's just like you can't let your progress deteriorate or go down just because somebody doesn't want to go to the gym with you or just somebody may be on vacation somebody may be far but you have to be determined enough to keep going you know what i mean so that's why i tell you guys like yes go with people but just kind of learn your temperament learn your personality learn your commitment when it comes to working out because you just never know what um you know saying you never know what you can achieve until you do it you know what i'm saying and you don't want anybody to hold you back because body game is a beautiful blessing and, you know what I'm saying, you want to get your body ripped. You know what I'm saying? You want to be ripped. And you got to put that time in. <laughs> it's not an overnight thing, but over like a co course of a month, you'll definitely notice a difference. And that's why I recommend. That's why I promote to you guys. Uh, that's why I do the body game videos, because I want you guys to feel the effects that I feel. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to understand what it's like to be in body game and understand what it's like to have certain privileges or understand what it's like to be chosen just based off having a nice physique. You know what I'm saying? A nice body. But, yeah, I would recommend that, guys. Just really just be, you know, motivated. Be, um, if you're outgoing and everything like that, it's perfect. But understand, for my extroverts, my guys who like to, you know, be social and everything like that, that's great. But, man, it's really a grind. You know what I'm saying? You're really going to be in your head. You're really going to be 
uh, trying to better yourself, your thoughts are going to be all over the place. And that's normal. But you'll notice like working out, it's like a therapy session. You know what I'm saying? Working out is going to calm a lot of those thoughts down. Working out is going to make you more focused because this is your time. You know what I'm saying? This is your, your, your jam session, your music session, like having your playlist. I definitely recommend you having earphones, having a playlist, all that, bro. Like have your Apple music, have your Spotify, have your uh, SoundCloud, just have that ready because you know what I'm saying? You want to be motivated. You want to be pumped up, but music is definitely a must. Like that's where I listen to most of all my music is only in the gym. But yeah, just make sure you're like, you're focused on that. You're doing that. You're being consistent and you're trying it out. You know what I mean? And then also improve, you know what I'm saying? Learn different workouts, do progressive overloads and just get into the community of it. And it's like the more you, every day you go, the more you learn. It's like, same thing for me. It's like, the more I go, the more I learn, the more I learn my body. And the more I learn how to manipulate my body of how I want it to look, which is an amazing thing. Not everybody has that. But, you know, what I'm saying if you do want to drop some pounds, get into a certain outfit, you know, go to, you know, say you might go on vacation, go to Miami. You want to look great, really, really good. Just kind of like understand that, like working out is that, you know, what I'm saying is it's free in a sense of like if you got time, you know, what I'm saying or if you have a membership. But, you know, you can work out anywhere and it can get you right for that vacation. It can get you right for your birthday. And I think that's very, very important. I think every man should know that. So that's why I'm letting you guys know. You know, saying so that's how you that's how you do it. That's how you get into the body game, really. That's really how you get into it. It's just finding a gym, kind of figuring out what you don't know, learning, and then progressively learning every day and then progressively increasing the weights to get to, you know, the physique that you want. And it's gonna take time, but it's worth it, man. So um just wanted to give you guys this video to tell you like how to get started for my beginners, my new guys. Because I know not everybody's already into the gym. I know not everybody knows what to do. So just kind of want to tell you how I'll go about it, how I went about it, and how I got to, you know, saying the level where I'm at. And uh, even for me progressing and just maintaining it, you know, for this long. So that's the end of the video, man. I just want to tell you guys that I want you guys to get in the gym. I want you guys to be healthy. And I want you guys to maintain the flow. You know what I'm saying? Maintain the state. That's the end of the video, man. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Ask me questions down in the comment box below, and I'll see you in my next video.